What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. And Janae from Janae Plans and Project Ellsworth. We are in Summers Point, New Jersey today, having lunch at our local Taco Bell. This is this week's. What, what car are we in? Mukbang for my Mustang. Jack won me. That's what she said. Is doing well and staying safe. Would you be that fish eye for us? Nasty. Oh, I'm nasty. I'm so, put, can I put your sauces in here? You can put my sauces wherever you'd like. This is, this is hopefully going to turn out to be our maiden voyage on my new YouTube channel. I've decided to play the game with the algorithm and niche all my content down and spread it out. So for those of you who know us already, good to see you again, what's up? For those of you who don't know us, I'm John, that's Janae. Like I said a minute ago, we're married. We live near the Jersey Shore, at the Jersey Shore, close enough. And we eat fast food in the car and shoot videos of it. He talks really loud. Janae's loud and obnoxious and messes with me pretty much constantly, camera or no camera. Have that backwards. And you we definitely just have that backwards. Basically, I just put all of your things in there. I know, but now where are we going to put the trash? You know what I'm saying? You got to think ahead. I was thinking ahead. That's why I asked you yeah, if I, I could put them in there. And I agreed with you probably. You did. Yeah. So put them wherever you want. I'm an obedient husband. That's what that is. I don't, I don't know about that. I didn't ask you if I could put it there. I asked you where you wanted it. So I got a, I don't even know what the hell this is. What is this thing? A toasted cheddar chalupa? That's definitely not a toasted cheddar chalupa. A That's a quesarilla. quesarilla. And I got a toasted cheddar chalupa, and I got a chicken soft taco, and a steak soft taco, both with jalapenos and onions. diced onions. I just burped my Doritos Locos taco. That happens every single time I get one of them anymore. But we'll just typically get on here and chit chat about our day and about our week and about our lives and about our kids and our jobs and world events and our YouTube channels and everything else that goes on in a normal everyday human life, I guess. Did, Others, you, did you see that reel I sent you? I don't know if it was a reel or a TikTok, but I, I saw it on Facebook. I sent it to you on, through Messenger on Facebook. Uh, was it yesterday? No, today. Okay, today I tried opening something from you and I kept getting the spinning wheel of death and I stopped looking at it. I think I sent you maybe two. But this little girl was in a timeout. Like little, little girl. And she's in a timeout and her mom is recording it and saying, oh, we can insert it. Um, but <laughs> the little girl sitting in timeout with her feet up and all of a sudden she pulls a chip out of her shirt. A, ch a potato chip? A potato like a poker, chip. poker chip. And her mom's like, did you just pull that out of your shirt? She says, yes. Oh, she's saving snacks for her timeouts. That was hilarious. So we do this. We used to do this twice a week. And now our schedules are kind of crazy. <clears throat> so it's been a couple weeks since we've done this at all. <clears throat> that and I knew <clears throat> that I was going to be starting this third YouTube channel. I have a reaction channel and I have a horror related channel and now I have this channel. <clears throat> so I will over time also be bringing all of my mukbang videos over from my older channel onto this channel. So you will very often for a while see a mix of new stuff and old stuff on here until all the old stuff is moved over every once in a while our son does this with us or with me so you're starting with the older ones first or are you starting with the more recent ones and going back 
the older ones. Everything from, I'm not going all the way back because that's way too much. I'm going back and I'm only pretty much gonna include the ones that are me and somebody else. I used to do these by myself. I started doing one yesterday for my channel and then I'm like, <laughs> then I have to sit in the car all by myself. Yep, you gotta, talk, you gotta talk by yourself and keep your mind occupied and talk to a camera by yourself, which is not nearly as fun as it is to sit in the car and talk to you. Take your abuse and your harassment and that is more fun than doing it by yourself. Who am I going to, who's going to harass me if I'm by myself? No, you just have it confused. You're the harasser. Our son doesn't do these a lot with us just because he's a typical teenager. And he says he wants to do it, and then in the middle of it, he decides he doesn't want to do it anymore, so then he just stops talking. Maybe he's like me and doesn't really want to talk until they're done eating. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't this be awful boring if we both just sat here eating and not saying shit, and then when it's over, we start talking? Well, okay, that was great. Bye. Thanks for watching me eat a cheeseburger. We're out of here. No, but I have you to do all that talking in the beginning. I know. I'm sitting here trying to shovel food down my throat, and nice. you're sitting there quiet and done your food. I, this is the most I've ever talked during while I'm eating. Yeah, I, I know. So, hush. Very messy today. No, it's nice here today. Not too, too, too hot. Sunny, hot, but not crazy. Yesterday the humidity was astronomically bad. It was bad. Humidity's bad today too. I guess maybe I just wasn't outside long enough to do it to, to realize that yet. I just looked at my hair and I know. Your hair's a mess. <laughs> Well, you're just making my point for me, so go ahead. It's so humid today, your eyebrows are bushy. <laughs> Don't you roll your eyes? Who are you rolling your eyes at? I'm rolling my eyes at you, John. I am. I called you by your name, the horrors. The new Lamb of God video came out today. So before I came here, I was home editing my reaction video to that that just came out three and a, three hours and 18 minutes ago. So I did the reaction video for that this morning. How many seconds? That clock doesn't have seconds on. And I actually wanted to do a different video for my horror channel today. Today, typically my horror channel I upload on <coughs> Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In my reaction channel, I've been uploading new stuff on mm. Tuesday and Thursday, and old stuff from my old channel on Saturday and Sunday. So I can't wait till all this old stuff is cycled through so that I can just do all new content rather than bringing the old stuff over. It's pain in the neck. You don't say. Yeah, I do say. Going to watch the Northman tonight. Did you see the trailer for that? No. I tried to buy that. What the hell's today? Today's Friday. Tuesday. Tuesday I tried to buy that. Uh, but Best Buy only had one Blu-ray. Target only had one DVD. And I wanted it in 4K. Nobody had it. So I was going to order it online. But Janae was next to a Best Buy yesterday, and I looked online and they had one copy of that movie in the store, but it was in the back. So I, I, it almost seemed like I just wasn't supposed to get that movie this week. But I got Because I asked. And they're like, since we have one, the first lady was like, you're just gonna have to see if it's out on the floor. So yeah. now I'm trying to find the very strategically placed DVDs racks that they have because they only have like two end caps and then the yeah, one with the new releases is a little bit bigger. 
they don't even have DVD sections in stores most of the time anymore. So I found another guy and I asked him about it and we looked and he's like, well, let me go see if it's in the back. And he came out with a the 4K one and the Blu-ray one. Life's getting hard for physical media collectors. Can't find anything anymore. It's a pain. I was just going to order it off of Amazon. So I got a whole lot of stuff I want to do today. Me too. And so far I've done a reaction video on what to talk about. And it's 20 after 1 in the afternoon. And I fought with my son and went to talk about. And showered. Oh, here. Here's today's plate. So we order through mobile order. Almost exclusively anymore. The Taco Bell app. Yeah. So... She's trying to order our food on the Taco Bell app and the app keeps crashing and crashing and crashing. So finally, we just, we get over here and we decide we're just gonna go in to uh, place our order inside because that would just be simpler than going through the drive-thru. And we get inside and they walked up to us and they said, we're only accepting cash because the credit card machine's out. But you can pay with, a, with your debit card if you do a mobile order. So we were literally standing inside a Taco Bell and couldn't order food in Taco Bell. Ridiculous. I got a free taco out of it though when they fixed the, the uh, pardon me, when they finally fixed the credit card machine. Yeah, I think we saved like 13 bucks too. That's fine, I'll take the money. So That's crazy. Their machine there finally started working so we were able to order. It's crazy. On their machine. And uh, the quesaritas, that's what I got, right? The quesarita? Mm -hmm. Apparently, quesaritas are available on the mobile app, but they're not allowed on the touchscreen in the... Allowed. Available on the touchscreen in the store. And the girl said, you can pay for it up here. It's a secret menu item. I've ordered those online before. So, I don't yeah, you know. You can order them online. I don't know how secret that is. Well, it's secret because it's not, you have to go on the mobile app to even know that they have them. I have never tried any of those secret items from McDonald's. Have you tried any of them yet? I don't even know what they are. I mean, I know they exist, but I don't know what's on them. There, it was like secret items or menu hacks or something mm -hmm. like that. And now you can go to McDonald's and actually order menu hacks which honestly doesn't make them a menu hack anymore in my eyes well it is because you have still have to put it together you have to put it together but that it's it is what it is whatever all right toasted cheddar chalupa something tells me that i've had one of these before on their on their menu it says they're new i think i've had one of these before i don't think well, it's those a, chalupas aren't new i think it's new again Right, but it's the toasted cheddar, I think, is the new part. All right. <clears throat> oh, Good. Tell him he's got to move out. So... I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna put him on blast right here on YouTube. Our 14 year old may or may not have. He's asking for her to come over now. I can't know her last name, but she he wants her to come over here. Our 14 year old may or may not have a girlfriend, and Janae had Michael's yearbook, son's name's Michael, had Michael's yearbook and asked him what her last name was. He was not home, and all this was going on through text message. So him, he immediately, irrationally, assumed that she was investigating who this person is. How much investigating does a high school girl need, A, and B, 
he just assumed, we're not, I, well, I can't speak for you. I'm not that type of person. If I ask for somebody's name, it's not because I want to investigate it. So now them two are having a fight over her asking somebody's last name so he could look it up. She could look her up in the yearbook. It's not my business. Oh, now I get the last name. Oh, see how that works. Oh, see how that works. Kids are fun. The first one was. This one, not so much. This one's crazy. Yeah, we have a 24-year-old to 14-year-old. <clears throat> Our 24-year-old is about the calmest, gen most gentle, nicest person you'll ever meet in your life. And that's, I'm not being biased. That's the truth. It's the honest to truth. Very nice boy. Our 14-year-old is a psychopath. Very nice boy. Don't get me wrong. He's one of the nicest kids I've ever met in my life. He's a sweetheart. But he's, he's crazy. <laughs> Did you tell him that we're filming a video? I did, when he called. He's supposed to watch a movie with me tonight. Bet you he ain't gonna watch a movie with me tonight now. Not if she comes over. Now you gotta tell him you're in the middle of filming a video. Mm -hmm. And don't grunt at me. You grunt at me? Yes, actually. Selling a motorcycle. So I'm gonna offer up a 14 year old, 14 and a half year old, if any takers. You're doing what? I'm offering up our 14 year old. See if there's any takers. Well, there's no takers. We can sell them. You can probably get a decent amount of labor out of a 14 year old, like a healthy 14 year old boy. He is healthy. But we're Not keeping the dog. We're going to keep the dog, though. He can't have the dog. My paid has the woman. All of his vet bills and all his food. And, and we take care of him. We have a Jack Russell Terrier named Jack. Mm -hmm. Who's the most adorable little thing in the world. I'm the only one in the house didn't want this damn dog. I didn't want no part of having this dog. I thought it was a bad idea. And now one of the best parts of my day is coming home and seeing Jack. I love that damn dog. It's ridiculous. He'll be one in August. He's the best. I didn't want anything to do with having a do another dog in our house. Our older son has a dog, so our younger son felt like he needed to have a dog. I guess I'm gonna let this little girl come over so I can see what she looks like and what she's like. Because she said that I'm allowed to know her last name. You can't say little girl, Mike. Jen Jen you, that sounds, it comes off with you. She's a little girl with me. That's because you're old. Who are you really? looking at over there? Ain't nobody over there. I am younger than you. Yeah, but I, 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 I keep it together. I got it together. <laughs> You're in your 50s, I'm in my 40s. I'm not in my 50s, I'm 50. For another month and 11 days. Janae old as hell, Janae 49. Act like she ain't 50. Because I'm not 50. You're, you're 50. You can look at me like that all you want, Janae. It's not gonna turn back time. You know what I'm saying? You are totally Ruining this birthday. What birthday? Your My birthday's next not birthday. My next birthday. Your next birthday, you're gonna be working on 51. Okay, I'm putting you up for dip now. <laughs> I'll tell you how many women. You have no idea how many women would kill for a guy like me. Uh. I take care of myself. I take They'd care of They'd be calling house. me, oh, can you come pick him up? I take care of can my house. Can you take him back? Take care is of there, my is wife. Is there a return? I'll pay you to take him back. I cook, I clean. I, you got it all. You know, you care less. I pull weed. 
I'm out there pulling flower bed weeds. You're in the house looking at me through the window. You look like the horse on Grand Stimpy looking in the window. Hmm. You look out the window going. I will get the. I will give you the props for the weeds. You're tapping on the glass. I look up you're going. You missed one. Right behind you. You got the whole package, and all you want to do is tell people that you're getting rid of it. What is the other side of that coin there, honey? Tails. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. Mm. Mr. OCD. I am OCD. Very OCD. That's a good thing. I know where everything is. I know what time I got to be there. I ain't never late. I'm always crazy because I can't change that. ADD people should not be with OCD people. Just, just gonna put it out there. The door, you gotta unlock the cart, you gotta grab the handle. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I see how you are. What else is there? When we, we get home, I will open it. Yeah, I know. And then you'll go in the house and watch me pull weeds. Unlock the door. We've known each other since 1988. Seven. Seven. Good Whatever. job. I don't know. February 1st, 1987. I thought it was 88, see? We started going out. You're gross. You're gross. July 15th, 1988. Uh, 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 pardon me. And then we broke up for 11 years because I couldn't stand her ass no more. You couldn't stand me? I think we did right way around. We've made a good run, though. We've had a good time. We've had a good time, Nate. Mostly. Who you? Who's going to help you over there? Who are you looking at over there? Who's going to help you? Look at you. You ain't even in the shot no more. I wouldn't change a thing. She, you know what we got on video, so next time you're complaining, I'm going to play that part of video for you. Remind right. you. I, I complain about a whole lot of stuff. <clears throat> I think you're nuts. But I never say that I think that I ever, I would never change anything. Were you, were you trying to implicate there, imply there? I wouldn't have thought you thought that way well maybe a little bit but not enough to make that statement I wouldn't change a thing if I changed anything we wouldn't be here I'm a thinker you know that I'm a thinker I think too much is probably half my problem is We're just definitely two different people. We're so alarmingly different people. It takes, I think, more work when you're that different. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying you have to understand going into something like that, that it's going to take more work. A tremendous amount of work. Because you can't change your brain and I can't change mine. No. We're, and we're both stubborn too, which works out great. If she, if I were to, if she leaves like a sock on the floor, we're not going to talk for two weeks. Now, if that was true, <laughs> I, it would be me not talking to you, because that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? If you're going to not talk to me for two weeks because I left, dropped a sock on the floor, then I don't want to talk to you either. You know that that's an exaggeration. I know clearly. it was an you exaggeration. You clearly understand. That. I know that. You're pain in the ass. Mm, not as much as you. It's fun though. It doesn't get boring. Well, thankfully, I don't hold on to things either. That's my problem. Do you hold on to it? But if you had two people as different as we are that both held on to things, it would crumble. No. Yeah. I get over things way too quickly. I'm trying to get past things easier though. You're better than you were. Because 
the older I get, <clears throat> the more I realize it, it's really freaking stupid. It's not worth it. You put your sock on the floor, I get mad at you, I don't talk to you, then you get in a car accident on the way to get your nails done or something. Like you get your nails done. Like I get my nails done. <laughs> so I'm thinking, that would really be weird. I, once a year. Once a year I do. Right before you get on the plane. But I've definitely come to realize that life is too short to get mad over stupid shit and then stay mad. If something pisses you off, it pisses you off. And there's nothing you can do about that. You can't change that mental state, I don't think. But you can make the decision to say, you know what? In the whole grand scheme of things, I don't give a shit that that sock's on the floor. I pick up the sock, throw it where it goes, and move about my deck. Apparently, you must have put socks on the floor at some point. That emblazoned itself into my mind. I don't know why, because my socks are on the floor next to my next bed. Next to your bed, yeah. On my side that you don't even see. They got a, sto a sock pile next to her bed every night. She goes to bed, she takes her socks off, put them on the floor. None, it ain't like her shirt or her pants or any other things on the floor. Nothing else on the floor. Nothing's over there. Just a pile of socks. Was that Ren and Stimpy? What was that from? I mentioned Ren and Stimpy oh, earlier. No, I didn't, didn't watch that show. There was this cartoon where there was some like missing socks and they were all found at the same spot, <laughs> like a sock pile. That's because socks disappear in the dryer. That's at our house. That's where the sock pile is. What'd you say about the dryer? That, that's a running joke. They socks disappear in the dryer. So the, I'm assuming the Ren and Stimpy thing, Stimpy thing had to do with it was they I, all ended up somewhere. I think it pile. was Ren and Stimpy. It was hilarious. There was like literally a mountain of socks and it had like steam coming off of them from foot stink. That's what happens with your socks. That's why I fall asleep so fast in a room. I get in there and it just... I... Excuse me? That's why I fall asleep so fast. I get in there and it smells like corn chips. I'm out. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. See, it works. All these years we've known each other and been together. Now, how long have we been together? We've been together for 18 years? 18 yes. years. Yes, 18 years we've been back together. And married for almost 17 years. And it's been bliss. It's been bliss and socks. Hmm. And snoring. And complaints. That's a, that's a hard thing for me because I try very hard not to complain. Because if I complain, then I get mad about it. And then I get mad about it. So if I just accept something, because that's the way it is, because it... it most of the time that is the way it is you know whatever um it, it and i or i try and rationalize it in a way that i'm not mad about it which i know you hate that it just makes it easier for me what do i hate when i try to rationalize a situation what situation any situation like something that happens and you know i try and find another re you know another reason why that happened like um you hear things about people, um, somebody got mad about something and started yelling or whatever, and it's like, it turns out that that person lost someone near and dear to them earlier in the day, or something like, you don't, you never know what somebody else is going through, so, That's you know, very true, that's why you don't get mouthy with people you don't know. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say nothing. Oh. But that's why I don't ever bother people. When, when somebody needs something to be said to them because they're doing something outrageous, that's why I don't say nothing to them. Because, you know, that son of a bitch will pull a bat out or a gun out or, you know, people will go flying off the handle anymore. Anyway. Um, like, or, you know, somebody cuts you off on the road or something. They might not have realized you were there. Like, it's not like they intentionally said, I'm going to cut that person off. And, like, I, I just try and rationalize because I think I have cut people off before totally unintentionally I'm sure you have but I, I, I usually try and rationalize why something happened the way it did or why somebody did something they did because then I don't get as mad and I can let it go but and then there are times where you know I can't and I'll be in my car screaming and yelling and but I have my windows up so it's all right 
and not perfectly. gesturing or it was perfectly fine to scream and yell to yourself right but that's how it like my whole life that's how i've always dealt with things that bothered me was to get it out even if i'm not saying it to the person that well that's probably it healthy it's not healthy to bottle everything up mm -hmm. and that is what i've done my whole life like you'll make me <clears> mad and also we'll have this argument in my head and you know that'll make you mad and that's part of the reason sometimes I calm down so much more than you is because I've already had this argument with you in my head and it once you get it out, it's not as strong and it just gets weaker and weaker and weaker from there. Why did my hot sauce just say, sorry, mom? Are you serious? Am I serious? Yes. You didn't know that the hot sauces have little sayings on them? So sorry, Mom. They've had sayings on them for oh, well, I think I remember years that. and years and years. But I don't, why did, it shouldn't say sorry, Mom. Why does it say sorry? Let's you show them. You need to give that to Uncle Michael. <clears throat> All right, we ready to go home? They used to have things like marry me and, but I'm sure, you know, they try and come up with new things instead of the same old things. Well, I understand, honey. I'm not saying that I don't understand the topic about right stuff on Michael. our sauce. I just don't understand why I have a pack of hot sauce that says sorry mom on it. Because Michael needs it. That's why Taco Bell we're at sorry mom yep. on it. But Michael needs it. Yep. All right, that definitely makes sense. Because they know that kids are going to do something wrong. Kids are, kids suck. And now I got this. They're expensive and they're mouthy and they usually stink. You ready to go? Yeah, we can go home and see the, the person that I wasn't supposed to know the last name. They're at our house now? Yeah. That's what he's been bugging me about. So you tell me he had this girl come over and then he asked if she could come over? This is bullshit. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you really like this over. video. You can't do that and then start doing something else. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying our content up to this point, well, our maiden video, please do a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. Thank you for watching. Later.